Okay, what is up, guys? You know when you just really realize how many bad habits you have and then once you have to watch yourself you really see them and you're just like ah oh, my gosh oh my hello okay so as you could probably tell by the noise I have someone to introduce you to oh what is this where is it where did she go oh seriously where did he go oh So this is Amelia Moo, just Amelia though. Her middle name is Moo. And this is my new little baby girl. Hi. She is very talkative. She has a lot of attitude and she eats like a pig. <laughs> I got this baby little pig. And honestly, I'm gonna be so honest with you guys right now. So people at the ranch that were coming were telling me, oh my god, there's a baby runt over there. I think she really needs to be bottle fed. And this sounds so terrible, but at the time I was just kind of like, I'm way too busy right now to think about that. Like I feel so bad now because once I saw her and understood what people were talking about, I was like, oh my god, and I instantly grabbed her. I just hadn't seen her before. And I just I knew if I saw I'd add it to my life and when you add something like that to your life it does take time so it's kind of avoiding it and then one morning it just it's really bothering me so I walked my little butt over there and I saw what everyone was talking about and I was just like oh my god I'm a terrible person I instantly took her I instantly took her to get formula I instantly started getting her warm giving her milk and just she's literally my like newborn baby right now my little newborn pig pig baby <laughs> but she is a lot of, of work but I am literally so in love with this pig you guys don't understand and honestly my stepdad used to do this all the time throughout high school he would just bring home baby pigs and we would nurse them back to life or he would be training them for the movies so I'm just so used to having like a little piglet in my house that for me it feels completely normal for other people they're like you have a pig and I'm just like Yes, so it's not it's not weird for me. It's actually normal for me to have a pig home and like hearing that little noise. It's actually it actually makes me feel like it, it's making me feel so much better. I feel like myself with this little pig with me. Um, it's so crazy. As much as I try to like deny my ranch veins, they're so in bedded into my soul like no matter what I do in this life I time I can't get away from animals like but anyway so I have so many clips of this past week that I'm just kind of going to take you guys through so bear with me <gasps> what is that what is that is that a pig is that a pig in a blanket what are you doing? Jay, be nice to my little baby. Oh, your little legs got out. It's okay. Good morning. Oh, God, you have to my fingers. Who's the grumpiest girl in the world? Oh, hungry? <laughs> the 
this is what it looks like when we are property hunting. <laughs> God, what is this? Just come right through. It won't creep you out at all. This is so scary. Oh my God, I got the weirdest feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I am sort of scared of this place. Oh my God. There's power. Should we leave? Oh, well, I found that little cabin. I see. got a little pendant. I got a witch's totem. I don't know if I'd take it. <laughs> well, this I'm... land out here? Why is this so creepy? It's so creepy over there. Do you think it's abandoned? No, I think this is a hideout for somebody. Do you think so? Just but I think they come back and forth, dude. And then they clean it up for a little bit. Then they keep it looking abandoned. Do or do not want me to open this door. Well, are we trespassing? Is this? I don't know. I think this is twelve four twenty, isn't it? Or is that twelve four twenty? Oh my God! They are fucking kidding. Bunch of old books. What's with all these old books? What? Dude, they're doing some weird stuff back here. A red light, a ton of car batteries. I'm not gonna step in that. That's your average murder, murder shack. No. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> hey, but why do they have the red light? Well, they're all put together for a crazy shack. I mean, it looks like it hasn't been in here in a while. There's shit like mouse crap and everything else going on there. Well, new, but at its at some point in time, like, I mean, the red light, we're thinking devious, but it could have been just like, hey, there's power. This is, uh, you know, someone stole it here. What? Don't tell me that. <gasps> Don't step on that. <coughs> Easier than puppies. Good girl. Good potty. Oh. <laughs> there. Oh, good poo poo. Good poop. Good girl. I have just been so insanely busy this past week. Like literally, I just, I ended up not going to the ranch today because I really wanted to make time to make this video and to do this video because I literally am nonstop today, you guys. And some of the clips I'm about to show you, or I will show you now, um, this Sunday we had the most busy day we've had at the ranch ever and it was the coolest feeling in the world i'm going to show that to you guys because it was so weird i've like my mom's work where she worked at i got to see their business build and grow and i got to see her like be a part of the process and then when i was a personal trainer i started up with a startup company i didn't like go to an equinox or 24-hour fitness i went to a gym that was just getting established so i got to kind of be a part of watching the business grow and being excited and then like you know you do take a pay cut when you are helping people start up businesses like that because they are just trying to make it so you don't make as much as when you work other places but it is very beneficial and rewarding because you feel like you have a purpose and this ranch <sighs> Jeremy started doing this ranch three and a half years ago now and since day one, like the very first day he handed money over for rent and the very first property, we have been there just hoeing the ground, picking up bushes, and then like to see it now, like on Sunday, like I want to cry just because when you work so hard towards something and then you finally start to see it unravel and like don't get me wrong, this is not all me or anything. It's a lot of teamwork by a lot of people. Um, 
it's just it's fascinating to see like how these things really really build from literally the ground up and it's a it's a beautiful process and it's still hard it's still so difficult like doing something like this it's hard you know a lot of people get normal jobs and have comfort i i do these annoying leap of faith type of things where i believe in someone or something and i believe in them with all my being and i help them as much as i possibly can until they get there okay so i'm gonna do this super fast but today at the ranch it has been the most crowded it's ever been like ever i'm so nervous to do this in front of this many people because someone might walk in at any moment but anyway this is the most crowded this ranch has been since jeremy and i have started like i could cry right now <laughs> it's like such an amazing moment so i'm gonna show you guys secretly what is going on right now today so what a week in my damn life that's all i gotta say because that's literally what it is i have to pee so freaking bad right now like it's insane so i'm just gonna wrap up this video right here right now and let you guys see amelia for one last time hi baby girl oh gosh oh Say bye. Say bye, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video.